Hi everybody! Sarah here, Love Sockwool on Ravelry and Instagram. Thanks so much for um, tuning in. Um, I've been gone for two weeks, or at least I haven't recorded for two weeks because we went on vacation for spring break to Florida and it was lovely and we just got back um, yesterday afternoon after a very long and arduous plane trip. Um, both going to Florida and coming back, we had like crazy early flights. Like going there, we had to get up at 3.30 in the morning to make a 5.30 flight. And then coming back, we had to get up at 4.30, which felt like sleeping in, to make an 8.30 flight because we were further away from the Miami airport. So anyway, I'm a little, I'm a little tired. <laughs> I should be rested, but I feel like I need to recuperate from the vacation a little bit. Um, but I'll tell you a little bit about where we went. We went to this little island on the Gulf side of Florida called Little Gasparilla Island. And we've been there before and there's nothing on the island except for rental homes and or vacation homes. And there's, there's no stores, there's no restaurants. So when you, you drive there, you have to take a water taxi to get to the island. And you gotta have all your stuff with you, all your food, um, for, you know, whatever you need for as long as you're going to be there. And yeah, but once you get there, it's lovely and quiet. It's very family friendly. You know, you can swim in the ocean, sunbathe, look for seashells, knit, lots of knitting. <laughs> so um, I'm excited to show you what I worked on while I was gone. So, oh, I should say, there's a Ravelry group. There's a Love Sockwell podcast Ravelry group, and you should come and join because you would be most welcome. So please do. Um, okay, I'm going to get right in to showing you my socks because that's pretty much all I knit the entire time I was gone. Many socks were cast on. Two were actually completed through to kitchenering of the toes, but I'm sad to say that no actual pairs of socks were done but many were cast on. So I'll show you this one. It just happens to be right here. I finished the first octopus garden sock, and this is of course dyed by the lovely Kristen of Woolen Fine Yarns. And this is the blitzed base. Don't you just love that toe, not toe, heel. I love how it's striped. <laughs> so I didn't cast on the second one, but I did put a square on my Cozy Memories blanket, so I'll show you that. I'll show you my blanket last, because quite a few squares were put upon the blanket this time. So that's that one. And then the other sock I finished, at least the first sock I finished, was the Crazy Sour Ball. Sorry, I don't, I've got my left and my rights all backwards. I don't know which way to do this. But here is sock number one. But it is the traditional heel flap, heel turn and gusset. Just a regular toe. I love that it ended up with a white toe. I don't know why, but in sock yarn, if a sock yarn has white in it, I get really excited. I don't know why, but like I just love white in a sock. I need to white, I need to knit a completely white sock. I need to do that. It needs to happen. Someday I will do that. So here's number two. Almost done. I think I have about 10 more rows until I get to the toe. Like my stitch marker or progress keeper. I found these cute little stitch markers on Etsy a while back. And I like them because, well, they're just so pretty. And you can hook them right into whatever stitch you're on. I always move it up, move my marker up. Every 10 rows, I always move it up. And then I can just keep track of where I'm at. So almost to the toe on the sock. And maybe I'll be able to finish it tonight. And then I'll have a pair done. I haven't actually completed a pair of socks in a while, so I get kind of excited. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so that's Crazy Zauber Ball. And then look, this is how much I'm having left. 
I still hope I can squeeze a little pear out for Juliet. We'll see. I hope so. I think I can probably do it. Okay, what's next? Oh, I think you guys are gonna die when you see this. <laughs> okay, so part of the fun of going on vacation is that you get to decide what do you, what knitting are you gonna take with you to work on while you're there, and. I always am like thinking about it for days before we even leave. So a while back I had seen on Ravelry this pattern called the Hamish socks and it's a Fair Isle sock pattern. And here it is. <laughs> it's crazy. It's basically just an, a regular sock with Fair Isle on the top. And then you're supposed to do these cables after you finish the Fair Isle. But I didn't want to do that because I knew I would never knit the sock if I had to do cables. I, and I really just cared about doing the Fair Isle because it's really fun. And um, I went stash diving and just pulled out all my leftover bits of stroll. This is all stroll from Knit Picks. Um, I think every single yarn is stroll except for this, this little bit of yellow, which is some sunshine yarns because I didn't have any stroll yellow. Um, but I really love how it knit up and white. I don't know why, but I just love white in a sock. So anyway, I will not be knitting the second one. <laughs> we'll see if I actually finish the first one, but there will not be a second sock knit because look at this. It's ridiculous. That just kind of drives me crazy. And I could barely get it over my heel. So it didn't really, did not really fit. Um, and I did cast on 64 stitches. I should have done 72, but of course, no gauge swatch was done. I just wanted to knit it. So this is my idea. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the antique store, or maybe just get on the internet and look for a vintage sock blocker, like a wooden vintage sock blocker, and I'll slap this on and then put it on the wall as art. In fact, I may not even finish the whole sock. I might just knit to here and then just have it be like a work in progress wall hanging of a Fair Isle sock. Oh yeah, and I didn't tell you what I did here. I put in a fish lips kiss heel in some blue stroll. This is um, Wonderland, Heather. So anyway, it's a very enjoyable sock. I mean, I feel bad that I would say that, oh, I'll never knit the second one, but I know myself and I'll never knit the second one. It was fun just to do this. Um, so it's kind of like a sampler of traditional Fair Isle motifs. I could hang it, I could hang it on the wall there. Do you know where I could get a vintage sock blocker? If you do, please send me a message on Ravelry with a link to where I can purchase it. Um, I haven't looked. I'm sure Etsy or eBay or whatever has them. And there's several antique stores around where I live, so maybe I can find one. But anyway, this is the Hamish sock. And it's general... Hoff butter or something like that. I'd have to, I will, I will link in the show notes, of course, but um, it's on Ravelry. This person has put up so many beautiful free patterns on Ravelry, and this is one of them. And anyway, I had fun playing around with a, a Fair Isle sock. So, okay, so that's that one. Okay. Another reckless sock cast on whilst I was on vacation. So I've had this yarn in my stash for quite a while, since last year. This is the um, Patchwork colorway by um, Query Fiber Arts, or Query Fiber. And I got this, I think, last summer, but I, I never got around to actually casting it on. So while we were on vacation, I was like, I just need to have a stripey sock going. So I went ahead and cast on um, 64 stitches, 25 rounds of 2x2 two two ribbing, and then I knit my typical 90 rounds total and then threw in a, a white fish lips kiss heel because I love white. 
I think the reason why I love the patchwork so much is there is a white stripe in it. See? I love that. I love any yarn, any sock yarn that has white in it. Just a current obsession, I suppose. So I'm, I'm down the foot, so if I applied myself, I could finish this soon. So, but there's too many other fun socks to play with. <laughs> So let's see, is that it? Oh, there's there's one more. One more vacation sock cast on. Let me find it. Let's see this bag. Okay. First of all, you have to see this cute little DPN cozy that Danny of Little Bobbin Snits made. Isn't that cute? I love this fabric. I scoured the internets looking for it, but it is nowhere to be found. It's sold out everywhere. <clears throat> Excuse me. So anyway, Danny, I love your little DPN cozies. They're so cute and they're so useful, especially if you are using signature needle arts that are the stabbiest, most dangerous needles in the history of sock knitting because they, they will stab right through my project bag and poke me. So if I keep them in the case, <laughs> my hands are protected and so is everyone else. So anyway, this is Above the Clouds by Juliana Fiber. Is it Juliana Fiber Arts? Or, or Juliana's? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not being very specific, but isn't that pretty? You can really see the sparkle on it. And it's called Above the Clouds, and it's just beautiful. I had to cast this one on. I had to take that, that skein of yarn with me. So I did something a little different this time. I decided I wanted to do a one-by-one one rib, but I wanted to knit about 40 rounds so that then I could have a sock with a cuff that turns over. So it took a while to knit the ribbing, but I think it's worth, it's worth it in the end. So, so yeah, this is really soft. Um, incredibly soft sock yarn. Well done, Juliana. Okay. So I think, was that it for all my reckless vacation cast-ons? I think it is. I think that's all I knit on. All I knit on. But <laughs> I think that's everything I knit on while I was on vacation. <clears throat> okay, so now I'll show you my cozy memories blanket because I did put on quite a few squares. Okay. <clears throat> I took this whole blanket with me in this bag. <laughs> I stuffed quite a lot in here because I was on the fence about taking this with me because I would just be devastated if anything were to have happened to this or if I lost it or, you know, whilst traveling, something were to go wrong, but everything was fine. Nothing got lost or ruined. Okay, so last time I showed you this, I was knitting on Molly's teacup and I finished that. And then I put this one on. This is some Brooklyn Tweed Loft. I made a little shawl with that. So I threw that one in, that color in. And then this was really fun. This square I put on while we were on little Gasparilla Island. This is Malabrigo Socks Solis. And the last time we were in Florida on little Gasparilla Island, I knit a sock with this exact yarn. So it was fun to take that and put a square on my blanket um, in the same place that I knit the first sock which of course never had a second sock knit, but it's okay because I paired it up with another sock that never got a mate knit. Does that make any sense? So many words. Here's Octopus Garden. I love how that one knit up in a little garter square. It's so pretty. I love that mint green. Then this is a little mini skein that I got from Megan of Sleep Season Dry Goods. Is it sleep season dry goods or sleep season goods? Anyway, I can put a link to her big cartel shop, but oh, that's such a pretty color. It's like a 
slate blue and gray. And then this is Claudia Hand Paints. I think it's the watermelon color, and I got this from my sister's knitter, Andy. That was really, that's a really fun, happy little square. And then this is a little mini, I'm currently working on this one, um, is from my friend Karen Enginitz, and she knit, a, I think she knit a daybreak with this colorway and another, and another color, but it's Crazy Sour Ball, and I don't know what the color is, it's just like a pretty blue and green. So, if I am correct, I think I've got 95 squares now. It's getting kind of long, <laughs> kind of hard to show, hold on. My computer keeps going to sleep. So that's that. I still love this project tremendously. Hold on, my yarn fell. Let me grab it. Sorry. Yeah, if you are thinking of starting one and you love socks and, or you love fingering white yarn, I just cannot think of a better way to use up your scraps than, than with one of these mitered square blankets. It's, it's brilliant. Do it. Cast one on. Okay. So that's that. Is that all of the things I worked on? I think that was everything. Um, as far as, yeah, that's everything I took with me to Florida and that I've been knitting on for the past two weeks, I guess. Um, so now I can show you some acquisitions and I'm kind of embarrassed because there's a lot of acquisitions to show you. But in my defense, it was my birthday and this is basically all my birthday yarn. So here goes. Um, okay, I'll start off with the most gluttonous first set. <laughs> okay, so you know about the Arnie and Carlos Regia? ashamed of myself but I got the whole set I kind of feel embarrassed but anyway there is a lovely person on Etsy who was selling and she is still selling entire sets of Arnie and Carlos and I'll put a link to her shop I think her shop is just called hand dyed sock yarn I think that's what she calls herself she's also known as sock yarn maniac on eBay. She might be Sock Yarn Maniac on Ravelry, but I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. Um, so this is my first birthday present. <laughs> and the colorway that I'm just crazy bonkers for is this one. I think it's Fall Night. Love it. And then my next favorite one is this one. And I think this is Summer Night. But I think it looks like a nice Christmas color. If you go and look up on Ravelry on people who've knit it, it just looks very Christmassy, like a fair isle Christmassy color. And then there's a pretty purple and blue. I don't know what this one is called. And of course, the names are not printed on the label. Oh no, that would be too easy. There's this pretty blue one with like kind of rusty or red colors. And then this one, which I think is called Twilight. This one is fun. It's got like oranges and yellows. And then last but not least, this one. Kind of pretty greens and blues. In order to redeem myself, well not redeem myself, but I'm going to give one away to one of you. So I'm going to give this one away to you guys and I'll open up a thread in the group and if you would like to win it, um, go in there to that thread and tell me what is your current favorite sock yarn? 
There are too many. I could not choose one. That's too hard. But at the moment, what is your favorite sock yarn? And and put a comment, just one comment per person. And the next time I record, I'll, I'll pick a winner. Would you like that? Would you like to have this for your own? I think it's going to be super fun to knit up. So, yeah. Okay. That's just the beginning. There's more. Okay. So I showed you the Juliana's um, Above the Clouds. Look at this one too. It's called Carousel. Look at that sparkle. It's the most beautiful sparkle. And it's it's got like rainbows in it. <laughs> I'm a sucker for anything that's a rainbow. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. Couldn't help myself. Okay. Yeah. Because I've been knitting crazy Zauber Ball socks, I had to get some more. <laughs> so this color, I don't know the name of it or any. Oh, I think it's is it Jacka Mithosa or something like that? Um Disa, do you recognize this? The lovely Disa of Disa Craftworks is knitting this sock now too in, I think she's doing Harris Tweed or Blueberry Waffle. Very, very nice. I really love this color because it's like tans and creams with teal. And I just think that's a really neat color combination. So I might make these for Ben, we'll see them for me <laughs> but I'm making myself a pair now so maybe I should be nice and make him a pair so I told myself I can't play with this one until I get the um yeah where did I put it these done the this uh, by the way this is Volca 7 that's what this colorway is so I have to finish these first and then I can play with this one <laughs> And I've also decided that I should always have a crazy Zalber ball sock on the needles. I used to be like that with opal, and now it's crazy Zalber ball. One should always have a crazy Zalber ball sock on the needles at all times, no matter what. Okay, so let me just pick this up because everything in here is my birthday yarn. Okay, so get that Kristen. She did it again. She dyed up colorways I absolutely had to have. This is Stellar Banshee. And it's on her um, Strassa base. So it's her 100%, no, not 100%, 80% Merino, 20% Nylon. You know, your good basic sock yarn. There's no sparkle in it. I bought yarn from Kristen that didn't have sparkle in it. I should get an award or something. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I love it. I, I think it, it might have to be a hat. Something up here. Maybe a sock head or something. But again, I, I have to just look at it for a while. I have to just admire it for the art that it is. There's more. I see it. This is Tough Chicky. Again, on the Strassa base. It's so fun. <laughs> so this is my, like my Easter colorway. Um, so it's like pretty mint greens, yellow, pink, and then that shot of black, making it a tough chicky. So that's gonna be fun to knit up, I do believe. Thank you, Kristen. You're such a lovely dyer. Okay. I think this is I think this is the last of it these last two balls are the last of it <laughs> okay so I was messing around on Etsy the other day getting into all kinds of trouble I should if I'm bored I need to not get on there at all because bad things will happen um I stumbled across a new self striper to me have you guys ever heard of this this Etsy shop scrumptious pearl She's in Canada and her name is Samantha. And I, of course, will put a link to her shop. Um, 
her pictures are beautiful. The yarn in my hands is tremendous. I cannot wait to knit these. Um, okay, so this one is called Heard It Through the Grapevine. I really like it. I love this like oatmeal or wheat color. And then pretty green, grape, purple. <laughs> it's gonna be so fun to knit up. This one is <clears throat> PYT, Pretty Young Thing. Again, really pretty like a crew or like oatmeal color and then steel gray, that pretty raspberry pink. Oh. And she's got tons in her shop. There, there's lots of inventory there. So go check her out. Um, yeah, and I before I bought it, I hopped over to Ravelry and looked at to make to see if it was you know if anyone had been knitting this yarn on Ravelry, and um, quite a few people had. And from the pictures, it looks like it stripes up really clean and nice changes. And she put little stitch markers on each one. You probably can't see that one. I love these kind of stitch markers. They're so easy to use. I love that. I think that's it. That's enough. Goodness. No more sock yarn for me. <laughs> there might be one more package coming in the mail. But we'll chat about that next time. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's it for today. I made it to 26 minutes. Um, I'm recording on my desktop currently because my iPad just does not want me to record for longer than 20 minutes and it yells at me if I attempt to record longer than that. So I hope the quality is okay. I can't really tell. Um, I don't know. Hopefully it will be better than um, when I was recording on the iPad. We'll see. Um, so yes, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for sharing your sock whips in the Ravelry group. I love seeing what people are knitting. I love seeing people chitter chattering in there. Um, so yes, keep knitting socks. And um, oh, also, okay, so the thread that says, you know, sh show us your sock whips. If you're not knitting socks, show me what you are knitting. You don't have to knit socks <laughs> to be welcome <laughs> in the group. <laughs> um, anything you're knitting is welcome to be um, shown off in there. Um, yeah, I, I think we're done here. Thanks for watching. I so appreciate you putting up with me. I'm kind of scatterbrained. I'm not the most organized person in the world, <laughs> but, but it's something I'm working on. I'm working on this. So, um, if I, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to try to do as far as my regular recording schedule. I was trying to record every week. That may be a little bit too optimistic, um, given my other responsibilities of taking care of my family and my Etsy shop and whatnot. So I may have to do every other week. I'll just have to see how each week goes. So yeah, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.